Right. So I do mm. think it's possible that at the moment there's one civilization in the Milky Way. Wow. Imagine a vast and unimaginably expansive universe consisting of approximately 200 billion galaxies, each adorned with a staggering 70 quintillion stars. Join Cosmic Inquiries as we unravel this rather unusual assertion by Cox and attempt to find out if truly life beyond Earth doesn't exist, and if we're the only civilization in the vast expanse of the cosmos. Professor Brian Cox, a renowned English physicist specializing in particle physics, has made a rather provocative claim in a recent and compelling interview with the BBC. He boldly asserted that Earth stands alone as the exclusive abode of life. We, the inhabitants of this celestial oasis, are the solitary civilization in the entire cosmos. Contrary to Cox's perspective, numerous eminent scientists advocate for the likelihood of intelligent civilizations thriving beyond our planetary boundaries. Their rationale hinges on the belief that throughout the expansive history of the universe, diverse and advanced life forms must have emerged elsewhere. If civilizations were common, Cox posited that there should be civilizations ahead of us given the extensive time available. He suggested contemplation of the immense timescales, positing that if civilizations have been around for, say, 40,000 years, and the galaxy is as old as the universe, which is 13 billion years, the absence of civilizations from 100 million to 200 million or even 1 billion years ago is puzzling. According to Cox, he constantly imagines what these civilizations might be like if they had survived and progressed over such long periods. Drawing attention to humanity's achievements over the past 500 years, Cox notes the advancements in science since Newton and Copernicus. Despite our relatively short existence as a civilization, we have gone beyond the solar system with Voyager, landed on the moon, and are on the verge of exploring Mars. Cox suggests that if we've accomplished so much in 500 years, civilizations that are a million years ahead of us should have made their presence known, raising the question known as the Fermi Paradox. The paradox questions the absence of visible signs of advanced extraterrestrial civilizations given the vastness of time and the potential for their existence in the galaxy. Going by this progression, Cox believes that if humans manage to survive for millions of years or even just a few thousand years ahead, our future could be filled with fascinating endeavors. According to him, we could be exploring the vast expanse of the galaxy, navigating spacecraft amidst the stars. Our presence might extend so far that our signature becomes visible, a testament to our enduring existence. Cox further buttressed his point using the rare earth hypothesis, a captivating concept suggesting that the emergence of complex and intelligent life on earth-like planets is an exceedingly rare event in the grand fabric of the universe. Proposed by paleontologist Peter Ward and astronomer Donald E. Brownlee in their intriguing book Rare Earth, why complex life is uncommon in the universe, this hypothesis delves into the specific conditions necessary for life to flourish and evolve into advanced forms. Our sun's reliability becomes a cornerstone for the potential development of complex life. The second crucial aspect involves the composition of our solar system. Earth resides in the habitable zone around the sun, a Goldilocks zone where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist on the planet's surface. This particular zone might be a rarity in the vast expanse of the galaxy, with specific requirements for a planet's distance from its star and the star's luminosity. Planets lacking a strong magnetic field might be more vulnerable to these harmful radiations, posing challenges to the emergence of life. In essence, the rare Earth hypothesis weaves a captivating narrative of Earth's exceptional journey, highlighting the delicate interplay of cosmic factors that have allowed the flourishing of complex life on our planet. Cox further argues that another formidable barrier hindering the advancement of advanced civilizations in the vast universe is the Great Filter. This captivating theory posits that while simple life might be widespread, the evolution of complex intelligent civilizations capable of interstellar communication and exploration faces a daunting challenge at a critical juncture. The Great Filter's elusive location remains a tantalizing mystery, with potential hurdles scattered across a civilization's developmental trajectory. One conceivable filter lies in the emergence of life itself, as the transition from non-life to simple life forms demands exceedingly rare conditions and chemical processes. Another conceivable challenge arises in the development of complex multicellular life, where the evolution of intricate organisms with specialized cells and structures becomes a formidable and near-impossible step on the cosmic stage. Numerous planets within the vast expanse of the cosmos might serve as potential abodes for simple life forms. However, the evolution of more intricate life forms faces constraints imposed by diverse factors, including environmental shifts and competition among species. Cox further explains that the intricacies of space travel, communication delays, and the logistical challenges of interstellar exploration likewise impede the spread of intelligent life across the cosmic canvas. 
He explains that despite the high likelihood of extraterrestrial civilizations inhabiting the universe, we find ourselves in a curious state of not having observed or communicated with any of them. According to Cox, the Fermi paradox especially bonds a myriad of theories and conjectures. He posits that one plausible explanation suggests that advanced extraterrestrial civilizations may indeed exist, but the vastness of space and the limitations of our current technology hinder our ability to detect or communicate with them. Cox likewise noted that there's a compelling argument that highly advanced technology might be challenging for us to identify. Rather than envisioning large visible starships, civilizations may have adopted a more efficient approach, becoming nano-civilizations with minimal energy signatures. This raises the intriguing possibility that there could be tiny energy-efficient space probes scattered throughout the cosmos, eluding our current detection capabilities. Technological singularities offer another perspective on the Fermi paradox. This concept suggests that civilizations could undergo rapid and transformative technological advancements at a point beyond which their actions become incomprehensible to less advanced societies. This phase might involve the emergence of artificial intelligence or highly advanced simulations of reality, distancing such civilizations from interactions perceivable in the physical universe. Consider catastrophic events like gamma-ray bursts, supernovae, or asteroid impacts formidable forces capable of posing existential threats to budding civilizations. These cataclysmic occurrences might lead to the untimely extinction of intelligent beings before they even get the opportunity to communicate or venture beyond their home planets. This concept suggests that despite making significant strides in technological prowess, civilizations could confront insurmountable barriers that impede further progress. This stagnation in development, at its core, stems from challenges arising from various sources, including limitations in energy resources, the exhaustion of essential raw materials, or the constraints imposed by the fundamental laws of physics. A crucial aspect of this hypothesis involves the concept of energy availability. As civilizations progress, their escalating energy demands, driven by technological expansion and population growth, could lead to a struggle for access to abundant and sustainable energy sources. In such a scenario, maintaining the momentum of technological development becomes an uphill task, making space exploration and the colonization of other planets exceedingly difficult. Cox likewise explained that, moreover, societal and cultural factors could contribute to technological stagnation. As civilizations mature, they grapple with complex ethical, political, and economic considerations that divert resources and attention away from scientific and technological pursuits. This intricate interplay of factors adds layers to the mystery surrounding the absence of interstellar neighbors in our cosmic neighborhood. An intriguing hypothesis, known as the communication barriers hypothesis, suggests that although advanced civilizations may exist elsewhere in the vast universe, the obstacles to communication and detection could significantly impede our ability to establish contact and engage with them. Cox's perspective invites us to reflect on the vastness of the universe, the intricacies of cosmic evolution, and the potential diversity of intelligent life beyond our understanding. The cosmic silence may be an invitation for humanity to continue exploring, advancing technologically, and expanding our understanding of the universe. Whether civilizations exist beyond Earth or we are, for now, the sole bearers of cosmic intelligence, the pursuit of knowledge and the exploration of the cosmos remain fundamental to our human identity. As we gaze into the night sky, we are met with the vastness of possibility, challenging us to ponder our place in the grand narrative of the universe. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.